Hey YouTube, Sharktail here, bringing you all the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! 2019 Gold Sarcophagus Megatins. And I'm not going to be doing just one, but I'm also doing uh, two openings of these new tins. So, this is the kind of pr product from Konami, or just Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, I'm really excited about because um, this tin comes with amazing reprints from sets such as... Uh, Flames of Destruction, Cybernetic Horizon, Soul Fusion, and Dark Saviors, which I find Dark Saviors to be a little bit weird to have reprint in this tin because you would actually expect them to like um, have reprints from another main booster set like uh, Savage Strike, but apparently they actually went with the side deck, uh, not the side deck, um, the side booster set instead, which... It's kind of a little bit weird, but then again, uh, Sky Strikers are like a really popular deck, especially like now. They're still a really, really popular deck. So without further ado, let's get started on this opening. So just the tins themselves, they actually look really, really good. Even if you're actually not um, into like the cards themselves, like the packs. I still think that this um, tin is really good, especially for old school player or old school people who um, likes to collect stuff. This is actually a really good um, tin. I actually really like how um, this year they just went with the gold sarcophagus instead of like the anime characters, which I don't. I didn't even have a problem, but I just like I really like how they actually went um, differently this year. And it's really small, so if you actually wanted to, um, if you actually wanted to fit some cards here, this is a, um, really good one. This is really good. And then we got the promos and also the, uh, the packs themselves, which, by the way, the promos are really, really cool because you actually get, um, two artworks from the guy himself, um, then you got some other other old school cards, and then you get one of the brand new promos that really, really will do well in the game. It will change Yu-Gi-Oh a lot. So, first up, we got uh, Magician of Black Chaos Max, which is really cool. Um, Neo Kaiser Gleiser. Then we got Slifer the Sky Dragon, again. These artworks just looks really, really cool. I really love them. Especially with um, the new Prismatic Secret Rare, which I'll actually mention about shortly. Regeki. And we got Dimension Shifter. So this is the one that um, prevents graveyard dumping. I believe this is the one. Instead of um, sending the cards to the graveyard, um, you can actually have them banished instead, which... A lot of um, cards these days would actually do graveyard dumpings for like more combos and stuff. So yeah, that's actually really cool. And then on to the packs themselves. So what's really interesting is with the reprints, they're not the same rarities as they were originally printed. Some of them either got rarity bumps or rarity downgrades, which I really love. So say if you actually want to play like Thunder Dragons, um, most, uh, most of the reprints the good reprints, at least, are ultra rares, so that's actually really good for people who can't even afford, like, more expensive versions of the cards, like, if they want to be play, like, a bit of a budget version, so we got Vendred, Sky Striker, Mecha, Hornet Drones, I'm probably gonna skip through, like, um, the commons, Galaxy Trance, Will of the Salmon Great, Token Collector, and then for our first holo, for our super, we got Great Fly. I believe this was a rare back in Flames of Destruction, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. And then we got Danger. Cup of... Uh, Cup of Car... Uh, um, I can't really say it, but... It's on... But this actually looks really cool to um, see as a pr uh, prismatic secret rare. And then we got Crusadia... Um, Crusadia... Because I can't say their names. Ugh. And then we got Celestial 
Observator. I remember pulling this one out, actually. I think this was a secret rare in Cybernetic Horizon. So, um, yeah, it kind of sucks to see it, like, get a rarity downgrade to a, from a secret to a rare, but I still think that this card is actually good. Then we got, um, Crystal Conclave, Beast Magical Attack, Crystal Keeper, Invisible Barrier, Isolation Plies, and Fighting of the Drill. On to the next pack. So then we got um, Cybersus Cyclone, Bear Blocker, and then a bunch of other uh, commons. So our first super, um, our first hollow for our super, we got Imcation. Um, Pence Prime, I believe that's it's called. I'm so sorry with the names. And then we got Crusadia Magius for our Prismatic Secret Rare. And then we got Reproducus as our Ultra. So I believe this was um, a rare in Cybernetic Horizon and got a rarity bump for um, for this as an Ultra. I mean, I still think it's actually really um, good card, but after that, um, Summon Sorceress got banned. It doesn't really see that much play, but it's really nice to see that this card gets a rarity bump. And then we got Starring Contest for our rare. And then we got Koki Pole. Crawler. And then World Dino Wrestling. Then our last pack for the first tens. I think it's um, going okay so far. Probably not like um, humongous, but I'm still really enjoying this. Um, first we got Galaxy Cleric, Prompt Thorn, Thunder Dragon Discharge, Dragonity, Vendra Nightmare, uh, Predator Plant. And then for our um, Super, we got DDD, Super Dome, King Purple, Armageddon. I can't really see it because of the purple and then with the black title it's kind of really hard for me to see. Oh, there we go. We got Salman Great Heat Leo for our Prismatic Secret Rare. This is actually um one of the cards I really want to get as a Prismatic Secret Rare cuz I mean, yeah, um he, you can actually you can already get Heat Leo easier since it was originally a rare in Soul Fusion, and then it got reprinted again in um, the Soul Burner Structure deck, which also comes with the uh, um, the Altara network. But seeing like the original artwork with the Prismatic Secret Rare just makes it look so beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using this in my Salman Great deck. Which, by the way, um, I tried making a Salman Great deck profile earlier, like after the ban list, but I ended up like not using it because I didn't really like how um, I didn't really like how it recorded so I'll probably do it again once um, Chaos Impact comes out with the new Link 4 and then we got Vampire Fraglin for our um, Ultra then we got Foglio for our Rare so not bad for our first one. We got the Heat Leo, which is something I personally wanted to get. Um, but I wouldn't say anything is too crazy, but I still th um, I'm still really enjoying this so far. So now on to our second Gold Sarcophagus 10. Still really looks beautiful, by the way. And we already got a different promo. Just gonna put the 10 right there. Yeah, there we go. We got the promo here. Then I'll just place the packs right here. And then we already got the Blue Eyes Alternate Ultimate Dragon our, um, card, which we'll go over in just a sec. So, yeah, we got um, Blue Eyes Alternate um, um, Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. I really love the Blue Eyes deck, especially like with their artwork. Just seeing um, 
this card in general just really makes it um, so beautiful, especially with the rare. And then we got Palladium Oracle Mania. So I'm actually really glad that we got um, completely different, um, completely different cards instead of like, you know, having the same. And then we got Sly for the Sky Dragon, which is cool. I've already mentioned that's really cool. I actually noticed that the, um, it has a signature right there, which actually makes it look better. Monster Reborn. Um, this card has been reprinted a lot, but just seeing it um, again as the new Prismatic Secret Rare just makes it look absolutely beautiful. And then we got Dimension Shifter again. Uh, I already mentioned what this card does, but I was really hoping for the spell or even the Boo Road, which is um, one of the cards I really wanted the most as the promo, but oh well. Um, I'll try to get my hands on it some, um, sometime later in the future. And now for our fourth pack. Ugh. So we got uh, Goki the Giant Ogre, Altergeist Pixel, World Legacy World Wand, Trickstar Be Cute, Walking the Dragon, Vendred Nightmare, and then we got Invocation, uh, Pencil Plum. Um, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably saying it wrong, but yeah, this is the second time that we pulled this card. And then we got Danger Response Team for our Prismatic Secret Rare. I almost thought that this was going to be, um, going to be the um, Call by the Grave. I would have actually been shocked if it was Call by the Grave, because it's probably like the most wanted um, Prismatic Secret Rare in this Megatons, but seeing it, it's still really cool. Ooh, and then we got Danger Nessie for our Ultra. Like I said, um, a lot of the Ultras, uh, most of the good cards are Ultra Rares. Danger Nessie is one of them, and it's, um, having the hand, um, of, um, having this in my hand right now is really cool. I know this card, I know this is actually one of the Danger cards that got semi-limited in the recent Forbidden Limited list, but I'm really glad that, um, they didn't, like, limit it, or otherwise they could have probably, um, overkill the tents a little bit, but it's still really cool to get this card. And then we got, um, Sacred Noble Knights of King, again, I can't really see because of the black, but, yeah, for our, um, rare, and then we got a bunch of other commons. And then for our fifth pack, by the way, I really love um, how the packs and stuff just feels like having like a bunch of, um, I just really love, um, love like how like the packs just feel. Then we got um, Sign at Ritual, Crusade Leons, Toll Hike, Vulture, Contact Gate, Dragoon Sentis, and then, uh, come on, I can't even read it. Okay, so DDD, Super Dome, King, Purple, um, Armageddon, I believe I'm saying it right, and then we got Crusadia Magus again for our secret rare, and then, oh, I almost thought this was a rare first, like, um, they forgot the Ultra, um, Danger Dogman, I think I did get this card before, um, when it was originally printed, I believe it was Soul Fusion it was, um, printed in, but, yeah, still a really good card, cool card to get, and then we got Noble Knight, um, Pelinor, it's Magic, Crystal Keeper, White Stingray, Cox Bar Toy, Sky Strike Maneuver, and Melosh Frisk. Alright, last pack, um, I'm really, can we actually end something really cool, like, let's say a Boral Sword, that would actually be really cool, or maybe even, um, the Nightmares, I forgot that the Nightmares are printed, maybe we can actually probably get, um, hoping for at least a Nightmare Unicorn, so we got Salmon Great, Emerald Eagle, Link Turnabout, Vampire Domain, Solitary Sword, Poison, um, Dipset Chimera, Sky Striker, Micro Shark Cannon. And then for our last super, we got Crusadia um, Draco, which is, um, I forgot what rarity this was. I believe this was actually a common, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. 
I think this um it did get a rarity bump, so I guess it's pretty cool for like um the Crusadia peoples. I still think it's actually a really cool card though. And then Alright, so we're ending off with Heat Leo. So now I got two of these um rarity um Prismatic Secret Rare Heat Leo, which is um cool. And then we are ending off with Topologic Tresbana for our Ultra. Um, I think this was actually a secret rare. I believe this was um, the last um, cover card that was a secret rare. But, oh well. And then we got World Legacy Survivor. So, yeah. That is it for the Megatons. Um, I wouldn't say I got anything that's um, too crazy, but I still got some really good pulls. Um, will I be doing this again? Maybe. Um, I still think that the Mega Tens is a really great set, or a really great, um, product. So, that's all that I have today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.